it's a source of uh, hope for them. They really love you. Thank you. I love them too. Please tell them. You know I do. Yes. Right? Thank you. The Iran people, they're very pure in the heart. They deserve more than that. But uh, in this world, we can only do what we can do. I'm trying my best to help to comfort them. Thank you. Did you find your soulmate or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's why you ask? I think you are my soulmate. Oh, yes, I am, baby. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. It's a great honor to have this conference with you, and I'm very thankful. I would like to know, before we come down to this earth, do we know that we will come here to work for Supreme Master Television? And oh. do we make a pact to come here to work together to save the planet? Thank you, Master. What do you think? Well, I don't remember if I really made a pact, but I do believe I'm here for a special purpose. Ah, sure, then you're right. What is in your intuition and what is in your heart? And if you're happy to do what you're doing and you feel this is right for you, then maybe you have made the pact. Yes, I'm very happy to be here every single day. Then you have made the promise to come here and to work for the Supreme Master Television to save the planet, save the people, save the world. Wow. Thank you very much. Great mission. Continue with your job. Yes, I will. That's where you belong. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Hello, Master. How are you? Hello. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for the opportunity to be at Supreme Master Television. Every day I'm grateful that you help me with the work that I'm doing at Supreme Master Television. And um, my first question is uh, actually related to the uh, inner voice. How do we know which inner voice comes from the high beings and which one actually comes from the mind? Thank you, Master. Whenever you have some hunt or some intuition about something, or if you ask a question and you got an answer related to that, and if you feel confident that it's good and it's beneficial to your job or what you're asking or to other people, then definitely that is our inner guidance. And if you still have doubt or you think it's no good for others or for yourself, then you have to rethink again and pray again and ask again and meditate on it until you're clear and confident that the, the answer is correct. My second question, Master, is uh, about dreams of past lives. I have been like, having dreams about past lives. I'm not sure if these are actual past life dreams or they just uh, my imagination playing with me. How can you well, tell? Well, whatever it is, if it's good, enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a good dream, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Mostly good dream, then it's good. It's better than the reality that we have, anyway. <laughs> Enjoy, baby. Hmm? Okay. Sometimes a dream are for the past, sometimes a dream are of the future. And sometimes dream are a premonition of something that's coming. Hmm? So just uh, pay attention and then you will know what is what. If it's a past dream, then it's a working out of some bad karma of some desire that we still have left over. If it's about the future, then pay attention to see if it's happening like that, and then you know more, and then you continue to trust your intuition in the future. Thank you, Master. Okay. Continue, have a good dream. Thank you, Master. Sweet dream, you're welcome. One other final question is, um, what can we do to help ourselves to uh, go deeper inside? Like, when, when you go deeper inside, Thank you, yes. Master. So you don't go deep inside enough? Tell you what, your dream is when you're going deep inside. At least deep in your sleep. Do what you can. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, love. Thanks for being there and doing good job. Hello, Master. Hello. I would like to ask you if you could uh, share some uh, details about true life of Jesus Christ. Some details that maybe can help us to grow more. Thank you, Master. Like what, honey? <laughs> uh, his life is so great. How can I tell you in few minutes? Uh, what aspect you want to know? Uh, there are t 
two periods in which I'm very interested. The first period is uh, when Jesus Christ got the teaching from where did he got it? This is one question that I would like to ask you. And the second one, we know from the public sources that Jesus Christ died, at, his physical body died at uh, 33 years old. And I would like to know if it's possible to know if this is true or not, or if this is useful for us to know about that. There was a long period of time that he disappeared. At that time he went to India and studied with different spiritual enlightened master at that time. And uh, Jesus did not die at 33 years of age like the historical record, but he lived afterward. You remember, it is said that his body was in the cave and then later some angel came and rolled the stone away from the entrance and then they take his body out and then he travel again back to India. Legend had it that he was in Kashmir and lived until uh, 120 years of age and he was buried in Kashmir and I have visited the tomb in Kashmir and uh, it could be that it's his tomb. It's a, something very similar to Jesus. So if you want, you can go there and visit and check it out. <laughs> and they say that is the tomb of Jesus. And there's a small tomb next to it. That's supposed to be his uh, attendant or his assistant. Hmm? When I read it, I, I know it is for Jesus' name. I just know it. I can't explain. <laughs> I meditate there for a while. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you very much for being so patient with me. I also am very proud that you have progressed. You progressed very much. You are different, completely different from the, when you first came. Thank you, Master. And you know that, right? Yes, thank you. Good. Master. Yeah. I, I would like to say something in front of you. I would like to thank also all the brothers and sisters here because they are also a wonderful example. And each time that I went through some bad period, there was always someone who were there smiling, helping, and always being positive as you teach. And I would like to thank them and thank you, of course. Thank you. Okay. Thank them. Yeah. It was a pleasure having you join us for Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Tune in tomorrow for part six of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion, A Great Mission, Saving the Planet. Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants is up next right after Noteworthy News. Farewell and God bless.